Yo, what's up guys? Uh, quick video. A lot has been happening um, of recent, um, especially with the, I don't know if it's the third wave, um, yeah, COVID and there's a lot that has been going on, um, especially on uh, on social media, um, I think. And that's one thing that I'd, I'd want to talk about um, on this video. Um, we know the country is hard hit at the moment and um, I think uh, we we go to social media uh, for various reasons, um, some to announce um, the sudden departure of, of others, uh, some are there to, to inform um, how we can fight uh the spread of the virus how we should take care of ourselves some are there to um, lobby the government to, to try and um, speed up even the uh, vac um, the acquisition of vaccination and um, i think one thing that has um, well for me uh, that has really uh, gotten to me or something it's the amount of fear, um, the amount of anxiety that our our current timelines are are, are showing. Um, like literally every Facebook, I think those are the two that are, are most active. Facebook and Twitter, uh, those are the two platforms in Rwanda currently. They they are awash with um, RIP messages. Um, pictures of people with COVID, um, all stories that are relating to um, COVID and its related diseases, and it's been it's been tough uh, to watch. And um, personally, it's it's it has caused a lot of fear. Uh, it has caused a lot of um, anxiety um, when you log in on your profile or your account. Um, and you find an RIP message um, and personally it has affected uh, it has affected in, uh, my, my activity online um, I've since decided uh, well this is a personal thing um, I've since decided to minimize uh, my engagement uh, on social media um, I've since decided to jump in once in a while, post one or two things, and then bounce. Um, I think I, I'm doing this because I, I saw the effects um, and uh, the consequences that um, it has had in terms of uh, my mental um, psychology. Um, it has brought in a lot of fear. Uh, it has brought in a lot of anxiety. It has brought in a lot of anger. Um, and at times we, for me, it's, uh, I feel it's not healthy and hence I've decided to just uh, withdraw a bit uh, on social media up until the situation um, comes down. But I'm not saying those who are there are okay. No, um, we deal with things different. Um, for me, I, I saw it, it, uh, it wasn't really affecting my mental well-being that good, uh, having to to see such every day and hence me limiting um, my interaction there. So, and then also, uh, I'm not saying so you, for some, they should just, uh, if you feel um, that being away from social media helps, take it. If you feel you're okay with it, then you can continue. So for me, that was a personal decision. Um, and then also it doesn't stop us for, from engaging with other people. Um, also lobbying for government to uh, put things uh, in place um, to help in terms of the uh, the vaccines. Um, there are other platforms that we are part of that we uh, we voice our, our opinions and we uh, we try as much as possible to uh, at least contribute to the conversation. So um, I don't know the others. Uh, other people who are okay with social media at the moment so at the moment for me I feel I need to take a break and um, be there once in a while uh, for my wealth for my health 
um, and um, well-being so yeah I think that's how just a bit about um, how social media um, currently is, is it's affecting um, the psyche and uh, the psychology of of, uh, of people at the moment um, yeah so we pray for a vaccine to arrive uh, we pray for our people and uh, we hope for the best.